on this episode of Full Ball, work continues on Crumpy, the RN46 Toyota Hilux. Now it's mighty warm here in the northern rivers of New South Wales, probably not the best day to be working on a clapped out old car in your backyard, however, Davo the mechanical wizard in his infinite wisdom planted this magnificent mango tree about 35 years ago specifically so I could work on cars underneath them. Uh, so I've got Crumpy the short wheelbase Hilux parked underneath the tree so it's nice and cool. And on this episode we're going to be looking at replacing this aluminium bull bar. Now, it looks pretty nice and I'm sure it'd, uh, it'd polish up a treat, however, aluminium bull bars in the bush are just completely useless. Now, I've got a steel bull bar off a 70 series Land Cruiser that I picked up off Facebook Marketplace for 100 bucks, And we're going to have to look into a way to mount this to this car so it's stronger than Auntie Bob, the bearded wrestler. So, um, we'll get cracking on that. Look at getting rid of this aluminium one. I might even get rid of that beautiful... Toyota Hilux grill which has somehow stood the test of time and um, get cracking from there. Now, I've got a little bit of a tip for you fellas pulling apart cars in the backyard. Now, um, when you're pulling apart cars and uh, you know, you've got nuts and bolts laying around, it's actually pretty important that you pick them up off the back lawn because when you run the lawnmower along it and you cop one of these in the shin, I tell you what, it hurts something severe. So, uh, yeah. I'm going to be taking this grill off, and I know that's a little bit sad, but I mean, I'd rather see the grill kept in sort of good nick than see it smashed into a million pieces on a bush track somewhere. So um, I'll take it out and put it in my collection of weird and wonderful Toyota things. So I've been working on the bull bar for Crumpy, of course. You can see it's sort of all just sitting there in situ. Been using some of that one inch by two uh, inch RHS box section, whatever you want to call it. And uh, I've just been layering, layering it up so I can get it uh, strong enough so I can hit rocks and all that sort of fun stuff. So um, you may have also noticed that I've chopped all the bar work off so that uh, it doesn't look silly. Uh, of course this bull bar was for a 70 series Land Cruiser and it stood about that high off of the front of the car and I reckon that just looks silly. I have lost a bit of protection but honestly there wasn't a terrible lot to protect in the first place. Now this has taken me a bit of time, so much time in fact that my moustache has fully disappeared which is a little bit sad. Anyway, we'll get cracking on uh, finishing it off. I'll chop a little bit out of the back of the bull bar so I can set it in just a scooch because sometimes a scooch is all it takes when you're on a tough track. I've noticed it's got a little bit of um, a bit of a downhang just there. I might figure out something to do with that just to get that increased approach angle and make it look super tough. Oh, well, we'll keep cracking.
Well, it's been a few months since I've been able to work on Crumpy the Hilux. Um, really not much has been done on it, which is a bit of a shame because I'm really frothing to get it out into the bush and do some four-wheel driving. However, um, I have managed to get this set of seats out of a um, AE92 Corolla in it. And I tell you what, they're comfy as heck. Um, so I've got to figure out a way to mount them into the floor. I might just weld them straight in because I don't think they're ever coming out. I did, however, also get this uh, roll bar made up. Uh, thanks, Graham, for that. Um, and that's made out of some pretty thick wall steel. Davo the Mechanical Wizard sorted that one out with Graham, so they're absolute legends. And that's predominantly because the roof has absolutely no structural integrity whatsoever. Um, also managed to track down some wood for the tray so I can make a, a cool little um, sort of tray floor for that. Um, and that's pretty much about it. I was sort of mucking around with the front grille off an 80 series just to see how that looks. Um, so I don't punch a hole in the radiator every time I look at it the wrong way. Anyway, I think we'll get back to it today. It's a good day for working. Nice and cool. the shorty Hilux. Now what we've got here is some thick boy uh, decking wood which I picked up off old mate Pete who's a legend gave it to me for free. Now what we're doing is we're going to be turning this into a bit of a tray. I've started making some uprights for the sides. Now the sides aren't going to fold down because I don't really care but the back will fold down. Now it's going to be a pretty useless tray um, because the uh, ute itself is pretty useless in general however you know if i'm off-roading and i find a cool rock or a cool stick that i want to bring home with me then i'll put it in the tray so it's not completely useless um, i might even be able to put like an esky in the back or something anyway so that's the plan today we're going to chop up all this waste wood make some uprights and get some sides and the actual deck in it and that way it's going to start looking like an actual ute and i reckon it's going to look pretty damn sick um, especially with that roll bar there it's going to look like a true off-road machine pretty damn thick if I don't say so myself I'm uh, quite happy with the, uh, the with the way that's starting to look some of these uh, some of these planks are a bit warped um, because I'm assuming you didn't use them because they were the trash bits but anyway they'll be right I might add a little bit of structural support in the center there because they're a little bit flexy and if I got some rocks and stuff in behind them then they mightn't be terrifically structural however i reckon that looks like the duck's guts also tried to um use this line here as a bit of a guide as to the height in which i should have these um yeah looking pretty schmick i reckon 
Well, that pretty much concludes this short episode of Full Ball, where we actually got something done on Crumpy the Short Wheelbase Hilux. Now, there's a few things left to do, like get some sort of bonnet on it to protect that mighty engine, and hopefully we can find a winch to chuck on it, because we will inevitably get stuck somewhere. Now, hopefully you'll be seeing this thing absolutely singing in some off-road scenario soon, when we next meet on a future episode of Full Ball.